Hello, internet people of Hong Kong. What's going on, guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy, and I got a bunch of games. So many. So fucking many games. I just don't know where to start. Uh, but I'm going to be looking at eBay, and I'll be telling you prices. Um, now, uh... A few things to verify. One, I'm only going by the copy of the game that I have. For example, this game is complete in box. I'm looking at the, the you know, cheapest complete in box out there. Uh, and if it's something that's not complete in box, I'm going to do an estimate for something to that effect. So, yeah. I'm not going to be doing a disc only since these are all in their cases and all this shit. So, let's start with the game I showed you, uh, Eve of Extinction. Now, by the way, I'm using the, uh, the, the PS4 as a way to, to see, you know, prices. So, Eve of Extinction... PS2. So I'm typing that in. And here's the kicker. So I paid $3.99 for this game. You want to know how much it is? The first thing that popped up. $12.99. Yes. $12.99. That's a damn good deal if I ever saw one. So I got a good deal on this game. Up next is Fantavision, also. Alright, most of these are gonna be for the PS2, so... Oh, I didn't even... I'm an idiot. Fantavision... PS2. Alright, so I paid three nine nine for this game. As complete in box, as you can see. Uh, but this game is twelve ninety five, and that's what I'm going by. Uh, you know, because it's basically the complete in box, and also I'm not going by the uh, oh, pick your game, four dollars and fifty cents to nine dollars. Because I mean, I don't know. I I, I kind of just want to go by just a general one game estimate. And if the game says it's complete in box with $12.95 for this copy, well, I paid, like, basically $3.99 for this copy, but you get what I mean, uh, then it's fucking $12.95. I'm, I'm, so my estimates could be wrong, but generally, I go by the first thing. If I can't, I'll just go from lowest to highest and choose the biggest one. Uh, up next is Iron Man. Greatest Hits Edition, as you can see, complete in box, uh, $4.99. I'll just move the PS2 over just a little bit. Iron Man PS2. Alright, uh... Iron Man, Sony PS2, complete in box, $6.99 and $3.19 shipping, but I'm not counting the shipping as the actual product. Um, you know, it's just the shipping to put it on the internet, you know, to, to basically ship it out to people. And well, I'm also not counting in the tax either, um, because if I count in everything else, if I count in the shipping and the handling and the tax and everything else, um... We'd be here all night, all day, whatever. Uh, so I got this game cheaper. Basically, all these games that you're going to see in this video, I got from the same place. Or at least in the same week. Uh, if you can see stickers there, like $3.99 and $3.99, that sort of thing, they all came from the same place. But this one didn't. Uh, it came in the same week, though. I got the same game the same week. 
And I will be doing this in a fucking series, by the way. So I have so many PS2 games. I have so fucking many games. I would like to do this. Uh, see how much the games I have are worth. So, up next, I'll show you, I guess, Tony Hawk's Project 8. Uh, the greatest hits edition that includes the bonus disc. How much is Tony Hawk worth on the PS2? Tony Hawk. Project 8. PS2. Greatest Hits. I want to make sure I get the Greatest Hits one. That's important because if you get like a, a black label of a game, it's going to be either more expensive or less expensive than the other one. So it's, it's, it's vital and important we get the right games. We, we, I get the right games and I, I list them here. So Tony Hawk Project 8 399. The actual game itself including the bonus disc, is $9.99. 10 bucks for an outdated Tony Hawk game. It's ridiculous. Fuck. It's fuck, I tell you. I know some fuck. Alright, next game on the list. Uh, Max Payne, Greatest Hits. Uh, I paid six ninety nine for this game. What is the greatest hits version of Max Payne worth? By the way, this one is not complete. It doesn't have the manual. I probably have the manual somewhere, because I actually had this game before. Um, hey, hold on, wait. Tony Hawk was also a uh, complete in box as well. and includes both discs and everything, just to kind of show you that. Uh, Max Payne was not complete in box, but I'm doing my best here, guys and gals. Max Payne Greatest Hits. Okay. What? Okay, so on eBay, uh, Max Payne Greatest Hits Edition it's, it's got the black label. So is it the Greatest Hits? Is it not the Greatest Hits? I don't know. But that one is twelve ninety five. but it's complete in box. Uh, Max Payne Greatest Hits 719 and it actually shows the greatest hits version. So 719, really close to this one. Uh, and this one, I would say, if it did have, if it, you know, if it, if it was complete in box, I would say maybe the same price, like 699, maybe a little bit higher. So I would say roughly 719 is accurate. So I would say it balances out. Now, I don't really care about the value of these games. I just collect to collect, although, yeah, I do want to get these games as cheaply as possible so I can buy more and buy more and buy more. All I'm into is buying video games at this point. I have so many games, it's fucking ridiculous. Next up is Socom, 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 U.S. Navy SEALs. Greatest hits. Uh, and this one is also not complete in box, so... I might take some some of the value out. I paid three nine nine for it. What is uh, the price? I really don't know, and I really don't care. Navy Seals PS two. All right, where is the greatest hits? Hit me, hit me with that greatest hits.
So I, and also, no, I'm not going by sealed either. If I were to go by sealed, holy shit, that would take forever. Because, like, none of these games are fucking sealed. I'm buying them second hand, third hand, however many hands these games have been. Alright. The original Sokum. U.S. Navy SEALs, greatest hits, PS2. Uh, 350, it looks like. Yeah, that looks like 350. It looks new, I guess, but it's not complete in box. This is not complete in box. Uh, so I'd say... If this was complete in box, it would be worth a little bit more, I would say. Because it, it would have to have the manual and other things like that, but, uh, I would say... I didn't say PlayStation! Really? Okay, I didn't... Well, I did just then, but the PS4 is like, oh, yeah, you said PlayStation, that means... No, I didn't. I didn't fucking say it, you idiot. Stupid PS4. But yeah, it's not complete in box, so I'd say roughly, I paid a little bit more than I probably should have for this game, considering this co- well, actually, no. I mean, I know I'm not going by the shipping and shit, but if we were going by the shipping, this one would be better. Because this is $3.50 with $5.20 shipping. Um... So there's that. I'm gonna whack myself in the fucking face one of these days with these games. I swear. Alright, next up is... Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I paid $4.99 for this game. It's complete in box. Not like that shit fucking matters anyway, but... I mean, maybe just a little tiny bit of, like... Pricing... If it's, if, I did not fucking, okay, you know what? I didn't say log it. Fuck you. Sony, I'm going to beat the shit out of you if you don't fucking stop being stupid. I really hate the voice recog uh, recognition of the PlayStation 4. Okay, my headset is right here, right? I have it set elsewhere. It's stupid. <laughs> I'm watching a YouTube video that talks about PS2 shit, and every time they say, or not every time, but a lot of times they say PlayStation 2, and just the word itself causes the PS4 to be like, what? What? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm watching a video, you piece of shit. Anyways, Hitman 2 Complete in box. There, I gotta, I gotta make sure. And uh, yeah, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah, I am, dumbass. Go fuck yourself. All right. So the next game, as I said, Hitman Two. PS2. Alright, uh, it's not really the greatest hits edition. Oh, I'm also not going by bids either. Um, that's another thing I should have probably talked about before all this. Nipple! Hong Kong! <laughs> Alright, uh, <coughs> Hitman 2. I mean, it shows the regular copy, but it says greatest hits, so I'm not really sure. Alright, this one I know for sure is the regular version. Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, complete in box, $9.95. If we're going by the other version that we don't, I mean, I don't know if it's fucking complete in box or uh, greatest hits or not. It's five ninety nine. So either way, I got this game a lot cheaper. And the games are starting to slide. 
All right, next up, you know what? Let's go with the complete in box copy of Hitman Contracts. Also four nine nine. Uh, oh, wow, go back, go back, go back, Hitman Contracts. Wow, I actually didn't have to type anything in. How nice. Uh, Hitman Contracts. Hitman Contracts, PS2. Uh, complete in box. Eh? I paid four ninety nine. The game, the first copy I see... That looks like complete in box is eight ninety nine. So eight, I, I basically almost paid less than double. And the games are starting to slide, so I'm just I'm gonna move them. I don't know where I'm moving them to because I got nowhere else to put them. You know what? I'm just gonna put the games on my stack of other games. I have so many fucking games at this point. Alright, the next up is Disney Golf. S something. I don't know. It's it's mirrored. You're, you'll probably see the, the PS2 sign, the PlayStation 2, but it's not gonna be actual PS2. It's it's showing up for me as S or 5. 5S? The PS5S. Sony and and and, and, and uh, Microsoft work together. Make it happen. I'd like to see a, a PS5S or PS5X. That'd just be fucking phenomenal. That'd be awesome. Um, but Disney Golf, I paid three nine nine for, and of course, complete in box. Put a game on my head. I'm stupid. Fucking idiot. Alright. Jesus Christ! I paid three nine nine for this game. The first thing I see, and this may or may not be a complete in box, seventeen dollars. PlayStation Two Disney Golf with manual, fourteen ninety seven. So roughly complete in box. It's either going to be seventeen dollars or fifteen dollars. So, I got a really damn good deal here. All in all, I think I paid almost like $200 or so in like this one area. And then we're getting into the other games that I got from one of my co-workers before I got fired from my job. Which these three games alone I'd say are uh, worth something. And then you also look at the other games that I have. Oh, by the way, I forgot to, to mention uh, fucking Monopoly on PS1. Bam. So, yeah, I got a bunch of games on this. You know what? Let's just fucking do it. Monopoly. PS1. Complete in box. Complete in... I said complete in box! PS fucking four. All right. Uh, so I paid five ninety nine for Monopoly on PS one. That's complete in box and the greatest hits. Can't forget about the the, the greatest hits edition. Uh, complete in box. This one is the cheapest one I saw. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. I got it cheaper. So yeah, as you can see, the the place I went to, 
uh, where I got my games from back in Pennsylvania, where I used to go to Pennsylvania. Um, I'm getting these games cheaper, a lot cheaper than what they would be if I went on eBay or Amazon. Uh, but the sad thing is, I'm not always in Pennsylvania, so I, uh, well, I can't exactly buy these games on a regular basis now, can I? I can't buy these games at good deals like this, so I have no choice sometimes but to go on Amazon or eBay or maybe GameStop online. Maybe I'll go somewhere else and I'll just be like, hey. I need these games. Cheaper the better. I mean, if this place is selling this game for $3.99, why aren't you selling it for $3.99 or less? Why would I pay more for a game that I got for $3.99? I get it. Prices change almost every day. So this video might be outdated by the time it's uploaded. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad thing of like, Games are just expensive, and the hobby itself, collecting these things, is just so fucking insane. What am I doing with all these games? I'm not playing them, that's for damn sure. Because I've already, I mean, if I do play one game, I got like five billion more games to play. And I keep buying more. So I even get more games on the back burner that I never get a chance to play because I'm busy with all the other ones. And I'm just like, jeez, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Aside from everything. Alright. So the next game is... <clears throat> on the PS2. <laughs> I paid $3.99 for DT Racer. And it's not even complete in box. Probably, it probably isn't even in a fucking... Uh, PS case, or PlayStation case, uh, cause it looks different than all the other ones. Uh, I am gonna... 3 dollars your mom. So... 3 dollars for DT Racer. And it's not even, uh, any greatest hits. I feel like... You know, they call every single game greatest hits even though the games aren't really that good or worthy of being called greatest hits it's like sony at the time would just plant the name greatest hits on any game at any point in time and they're even kind of doing this now uh greatest hits uh let's see uncharted the lost legacy the nathan drake collection last of us remastered bloodborne yeah i get those but Need for Speed, Need for Speed on the PS4 has a Greatest Hits Edition, or PlayStation Hits, or whatever they're calling it on the PS4 now. I don't know. But it's the same fucking thing. Uh, no. Also, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 is apparently a, a, a hit. No? I mean, the original Plants vs. Zombies, yeah, but... Garden Warfare? No. Fuck off with that shit. Alright, so DT Racer I paid $3994. Uh, complete in box with the manual and everything else is seven forty nine. Uh, so I would say, yeah, definitely got a good deal there. Uh, even if this did come with the... Uh, manual and everything else uh dt racer would be perfect for whatever uh, the purposes are um i wonder how much some manuals are why did you beep at me why did you beep at me ps3 what is my ps3 even doing my PS3 is just flashing green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red. I don't know what... What are you doing? 
My PS3 is going fucking batshit insane. It's flashing green, that's flashing red. Flashing green, flashing red. Green, red, green, red, green, red. Over and over and over again. What are you doing? I don't think I want to know, but I want to know so I can beat the shit out of you. It's not even turning off. It probably is already turned off, but why is it flashing? Oh, it's hot. There. That's what you get. Unplugged. You get unplugged. I'm unplugging you from this fucking earth. My PS3 has gone fucking batshit insane. Anyways, uh, the next game is going to be Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Now, this one also, uh, Murray. But yeah, um, not complete in box, but, uh, it's a fucking Ghost Recon game, I can tell you that much. I don't know whether to masturbate or not, but I'm a cheeseburger. Advanced Warfighter, uh, PS2. The video games are touching me, and I don't like it. Sonic is touching me in a way that does not make me feel comfortable. I gotta get out of there like Sonic says. But it, oh, 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 what if Sonic, the one that's saying these things, what if he's the one that's making you feel uncomfortable and touching you in places you don't want him to touch you in? Is that a test? Or is Sonic a fucking pervert and we just don't know it? Alright, so cheapest copy I've seen is, well it comes with no manual, so that's perfect because this one has no manual either. Uh, six ninety nine. that's even better because it says, hey, no fucking manual, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, so I paid three nine nine. the other game is six ninety nine. a damn good deal. Next game is Army Men Green Rogue. I paid three nine nine for this and it's complete in box, so everything is good. Also, I guess it's made by the company 3DO that made a game console that's so fucking expensive. I'm I'm a cat, okay? I'm a cat. I don't I don't have time to deal with this shit. Alright, let's go, bitches. Let's take a let's take a shit. Let's take a shit down memory lane. Alright, uh, fuck, 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 taking a shit, taking a shit, all over the kitchen cabinet. I'm taking a shit. I'm eating your mom. <laughs> All right. So, complete in box. It's uh, ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. I mean, the game itself is ten bucks. So that means this case is nothing. The box art is nothing. The manual is nothing. But the game itself is ten bucks. <laughs> but yeah, I got a really damn good deal here. Uh, ten nine nine, ten bucks, whatever the case may be. It's a damn good deal. And by not doing the uh, lowest to highest or highest to lowest. I can get a general good consensus of the best match, which is what I'm going with. A general good idea of like, hey, this shit's happening. 
All right, next game. Uh, Fugitive Hunter War on Terror. I saw this game. I'm like, huh. Sounds like a good idea. Three ninety nine, and it's complete in box. So uh, I like dropping cases because I'm stupid. All right. Uh, I gotta type in the name again. Oh. All right. So. Fugitive Hunter War on Terror PS2 with the manual is five ninety nine. Black label resurfaced. I don't care about resurfaced, but uh, apparently seven dollars. Whatever the whatever the case may be, got a little bit of shit on it, but whatever. That's a damn good deal. I think all the games I have are good deals uh, when I bought them because they've all gone up in price at this point. Mew! Alright, almost done here. Just got a few more games. Uh, all of these to go through, and there you go. Uh, the Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. $3.99! And it's complete in box. I don't know whether I'm drunk or not. I'm a cat and I don't even know at all. Whether I'm you or not, I don't give a fuck. I will masturbate. Alright, you better pop up PS2. If you don't pop up PS2, the first thing I'm gonna fight someone. Hey! You want the Wii version of the game? It'll cost you nine dollars and sixty-nine cents. A little, a little fun fact for you guys and gals out there that don't even care anymore. Uh, PlayStation 2, complete, clean, and tested, $7, so it's $7 for this. As even with shipping, think about it. You're paying about like $10 or $11 for this game. That's just pinball that I got for $3.99 without going online. I went to a physical retro video game store. Think about it. So it's a good, it's a good thing. <laughs> All right. So the next one is Spyro the Dragon, the original back in the day. Spyro, complete in box of the. Everything is sliding out because fuck me, I guess. Um, Alright, get in there. Ah, there you go. It's a complete box. Um, and now we're getting into um, games that I didn't get from the same place and I got from a co worker back when I was still working. I think I paid around 40, 50 bucks or something like that for these. But as you will see in some of these games, they're worth it. I gotta say. Oh, by the way, I, I uh, in the next video I'll show off more games that um, I got from the same place I got these. Um, by the way. If anybody that works at one of these uh, game stores, and if they see this video, if you work at a retro video game store, consider making your prices like this. I don't want to see prices like, oh, here's $10 for, for Monopoly on PS1. Oh, 
here's 10, 20 bucks for pinball. Here's 10 bucks for Fugitive Hunter. Now, if I'm seeing a, if, I, if I'm over here seeing a price that's uh, you know, three ninety nine or whatever the case, complete in box or not. If I'm seeing these prices, I want those prices or lower. I don't want to see games that are like ten bucks. I mean, I might pay five bucks. That's as high as I will go at that point. But nothing in the double digits, especially if it's like a three ninety nine game. But I'll be generous and pay five. Um, but yeah, Spiral Dragon, complete in box. Well, not really in box, complete in case. It's not even a box. This is a box. This is a case. Know your fucking differences, because I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, so we're going to be taking a look at all these games. Spyro PS1. And since it's the Greatest Hits Edition, as well as Ripto's Rage, whoever the fuck a, a, a Ripto is, I don't even know what the fuck a Ripto is, Ripto Currency. Alright, uh, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Oh, I, I guess I don't have to... I'm an idiot. Alright, Spyro 2, or Sp yeah, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Complete in box, by the way. Uh, this is complete in box and all that good shit. Uh, it is $28.44, so... Damn good deal there. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, the original, the one that I have. Sure, the case is cracked and all that, but that's kind of what you expect when you're getting into older games. Like, PS2, this one kind of looks a little discolored compared to the other games, but, I mean, it's just the case. I, I can fix it later. I can take out that and put in a new one. Um, but, yeah, I can also get a new case for this or something. But, yeah, Spyro is 1999. Nineteen ninety nine for the original Spyro, uh, twenty eight forty four for Spyro two. It makes me question all the Crash Bandicoot games I don't have. How much is Crash? How badly am I gonna have to yell at that Bandicoot? How badly am I gonna have to find Cadicarus and yell at him for some reason? I feel like his Bandicoot month videos that he's been doing, uh. You know, during, well, Bandicoot Month, is the main reason why some of these games are high in price. Because he talks about these games, and other people talk about these games. And I'm over here like, why? Wait. Fuck it. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, and this one is not complete in box. Um, Kicking ass. One planet at a time. So, I am a cat that doesn't know shit. Wait, by the way, wait. Okay, yeah, that was the greatest hits for Spyro 2. Never mind. I was about to see. I'm an idiot. I don't know how to spell anything. <clears throat> Ratchet and Clank. Going Commando PS2. Oh. The Greatest Hits Edition is $14.95! But it looks like a complete in box sort of thing. So, whatever. Um. I don't care. I'll play this at some point. I'll get around to it. I probably won't, but I'll get around to it. Alright, the next game. Namco Museum, 50th anniversary. At the time when the PS2 came out, and this game came out, it was 50 fucking years?! What 
what were they doing at Namco before video games? Jeez. Alright, so as you can see, this is complete in box, by the way. It's all complete in box. It has Galka. It's it's best game ever. No, I'm just kidding. It, it 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 may have Galaga, but does it have Monica? Does it have Monica from Doki Doki Lynch Club? No, it doesn't. Therefore, it's not the best game ever. And I refuse to price this game. <laughs> I'm proceeding to price the game. I'm fucking stupid. Namco Museum. 50th anniversary on the PS2. Wait, they made a 50th anniversary on the Game Boy Advance? Shit. I have the regular Namco Museum on the Game Boy Advance. Alright, uh, this one looks like it's $10.99. So, $10.99... Another one is like thirteen ninety nine, so around the ten dollar range, you'll have to pay for a good game like this if you want to complete in box. And the last game of this fucking video, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Again, complete in box. <laughs> I'm losing it. I've been recording for like 42 minutes. Wait. 42 minutes, and now I'm losing my shit. Because I'm stupid. Uh, I better hurry this little bitch up. Little bitch, little bitch. Let me come in, baby. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. PS2. Wow. Is that the regular edition? Oh no, that's the Greatest Hits edition. Wow. Okay. So, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Greatest Hits, PS2, complete in box. Ten ninety a nine. So I say all the games that I bought from my co-worker at the time it was worth it. Worth the 40, 50 bucks or how I don't even know how much I paid. I'm an idiot. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys and gals, that's the end of this video. It's lengthy as fuck. If you want to do your own research, go online. Uh, go on the interwebs. Go on the interspecies intercourse. And go and, uh, yeah. Go on the Amazons and the Ebays and the AliExpresses, I don't know. But look for these games in particular and see what the cheapest price is you can get for these. Without, you know, whatever. If you're like me and you don't really care if they're complete in box or not, pay less, obviously. I mean, if I... I, yeah, I would prefer to get complete in box, but I don't really care. If I want the game, I want the game. I don't want to worry about complete in box. Um, although that would be better if it was. So I, I got cases somewhere. They're just cases, no games or anything. So I could just put the game in one of those cases. Uh, no problem, if I really cared. Um, but I got a bunch of other games for the PS2. I'm losing my shit here. But as always, that is it for this video. A Hong Kong. Stupid Sonic. I have too many games. I don't even know what I'm doing with all of them. But as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, people in Brohoof. Mew.